All right, welcome everyone to Divinity Original Sins 2 Honor Mode Plus Run. We are at Riker's Rest, and this here is a wonderful part of the whole game. I like Riker as a character. I mean, I hate him, but I technically think he's well done. And the house itself is also very funny. Silence, Greek. And the face melt. Looks like I found Riker's place. Good. In Riker's place, there is so much wrong. Like this guy is uh, definitely up for no good, but he needs our help. He wants us to do something. A visitor. Hello there, Riker. Exquisite. The elf tilts his head backwards. But his squinted eyes don't stray from yours. Call me Riker. Please, do avail yourself of my creature comforts. It's not an ordinary location, I admit. But I prefer to be extraordinary. Don't be so naive. My doors only open on the occasion of truth. I also see you are not yet... He presses a slender forefinger against his tight lips and hmm. I'm not a generous man. I could give you what you seek. If you are for something, you must go to the Black Pits. There's a cavern there. In it, you'll find a stone tablet. He points to the location on... Bring it to me. Dizziness. It lasts just a moment, but long enough for you to feel Tyrs and Delius's presence. You hear no words, yet understand. The episode passes. Riker is peering at you intently. He awaits your reply. A promise. You'd best. Riker bows his head deep. Then you'll have the power you seek, if not the power that trumps it. There will always be one greater. Now, please, don't let me keep you. Tarquin. Ah, that must be the thing. There are some types, deceitful types, that don't deserve to be among a place of such treasure. He turns the back of his head. Do be sure to see yourself out. These tones demand. Good. So that is Riker. And Riker and his rest are going to demand our attention as well. We need to let him leave his rest. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to travel a little bit. Fast traveling to the square and then fast traveling back to the to the graveyard. Because we're going to snoop around in his house a little bit. And there are various reasons for that. Number one, there is a nice little encounter which we're going to do. Number two, Riker himself it would be in the basement where we also would want to go and we would find that Riker effectively is going to double cross or trying to double cross us which makes him not only um, yeah I would say less of a man to, to be polite it also it also tells us that we can't trust him like at all this guy is definitely not, not trustworthy That's our thievery gear, and why exactly is she having the gloves of teleportation? Oh yeah, I know, because she did not have... I remember, okay, she, so she did not have um, Iero, uh, Iero Thurg, so we wanted uh, teleportation on, uh, on her as well. Okay, anyways, moving on. We're halfway to level 14, which means uh, when we're done with the graveyard, there is a good chance that we finally can upgrade our gear, and I'm very much looking forward for it. We have found what he was looking for, Tarkin. That is uh, the artifact that I was talking about. Imagine it. Hope I can restore Anathema to working condition, but this is only half of it. We well. Blood Moon Island away. Tarquin doesn't wait. He updated us with uh, All in Family.
And the second part of uh, the artifact is effectively up here. So there. And we are not going to do that yet, quite yet, but it's already good to have the quest update. So when we're going to Blood Moon Isle, that quest is going to be part of what we're seeking there. Because the sword is really, really good. As for now, let's move back into Riker's estate. And let's do A, the boss fight there, which is going to be a nice little spider fight. I'm looking forward for that. And B, we are going to um, get some loot, because there's actually quite a lot of loot that you can steal in Riker's estate. Is Riker still at home? No, it's just the marked servant. Riker is now no longer at his house, he's at his cellar. Which means we are going to steal whatever we can. The stag trophy stag a faint The ghostly stag The ghostly stag For what prize would a foolish poacher discard his life? The answer lies at a halo of wildflowers. So, let's Riker's cellar. We've been here already. This is where the turtle fell in love and where the connection uh, originally started. The house did not let us in. So, in order to progress a little bit further into the cider rooms, I would want to distract uh, these gentlemen. The servant responds with a blank look and a low groan. The servant grumbled. Good, there we go. Well, so much for the distraction part. Just want to open that fucking door, really. The servant emits a menacing growl. The servant grumbles. This is mainly cash loot, but if you add up everything, it is not too bad. Plus, some sometimes there are quite um, interesting um, things that you can find here, specifically lucky charm and so on, uh, can trigger a lot of times. So we're not going to take every single item, but definitely the ones, glass for instance, super valuable, 250 per glass. The servant emits a menacing... Well, in here we will probably need a little bit of distraction. The servant grumbles. A spirit sits behind... Oh, uh, oh. The music's... The creature warns you away with uh, Wow, really? Come on. The servant responds with a blank look and a low groan. So the knives and so on all are wor uh, worth a pretty pretty penny. 
forks, knives, and so on. He has some exquisite ta uh, taste, specifically the glass, however, is expensive. So let's focus on, uh, on the glass and leave the rest here. The Feats of the Four tells about four heroes that uh, have been bur uh, buried, and these bur buried heroes are going to be important a little bit later, because guess what? We are going to fight them pretty soon. So one thing that is important in Riker's house is there are three books, and that's really important now. It's not just like Mike and Money. There are three books. Uh, which are called the existence of es uh, uh, the essence of existence, and I'm personally I personally like to take them with me, but it is just important that the character reads them. So that was volume two. We need volume one and three as well, and there is a quest which can only uh, be fully done and succeeded if you know all three of these. Um, uh, of the contents of these books, because there is an ancient skeleton that will challenge you uh, to a duel of um, of uh, of uh, of mind or a duel, a duel of philosophy. It's kind of an undead philosopher, um, and if you just normally accept it, you will not stand a chance. He just has a couple of really, really, really good arguments on his side. The dusty staircase leads to another hatch. No matter how. The dusty staircase leads to another. Straining and grunting. Your strength just about manages to nudge open. Good. Here we go. That is one side. That should be the side where the spider is, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one side where the spider queen is. So, this is actually going to be. An interesting comment, and uh, let me do it from the from the other side. Last time I did it over here, but might as well want to do it from here. So, the whole idea with a spider fight is there is a huge spider in here, which you can try to ignore, but in the end, it'll turn out that no matter how much you ignore her, uh, she is going to uh, try to attack and kill you. These swollen uh, swollen eggs here are our enemies. We need to find a place where the least amount of swollen eggs are and that is most probably one of uh, the like areas at the side because the swollen eggs spawn as you would have never guessed um, little spiderlings and the problem with the little spiderlings is they tend to explode, which makes them extremely unfun to deal with. Oh, wait a second, we can attack them. I never knew that. Oh, there you go. There's the spiderling I was talking about. Okay, so one of the major problems with these spiderlings is they tend to explode and just deal a hell lot of damage with it. Plus it's AoE damage, so you just basically don't want to mess around with it. All of these spiderlings seem to be dead, so might as well stay here for now.
Okay, well, that was easy. So theoretically there should be like one main spider in here. One who wants to discuss with you. Yeah, and that's exactly the explosion. And imagine that on a character with less decent gear. Yeah, you need to be careful if you if you fight up here. Because they can be, once they are released, they can be quite dangerous. Specifically if multiples run towards you. Uh, that might uh, soon become uh, too much. So specifically if you cluster up, yeah, you're probably going to die. I am surprised though, because, like I said, there's supposed to be the Weaver, exactly. But normally she does not attack you before she's not telling you all these lies and you can start to discuss with her, but in the end it really doesn't matter because she really just wants to attack you. So yeah, she is likewisely weak on both magic and physical armor. She's very vulnerable uh, towards fire. But you can also just freeze her. pretty exactly the last time that I fought her I felt like wow 2000 hit points that's just so much how are you even supposed to deal that much damage now I realized how bad my build was back in that uh, back in that time what exactly what's wrong with my hammer oh movement speed reduced to zero Wonderful. Well, does that also count for flying? Yep, it counts for flying. Never mind. So, as I was saying, my build was bad, and that's um, why it took me quite a while to figure out how to deal with uh, that encounter, for instance. I went here immediately, not even going into the city. I felt the graveyard was something that I wanted to explore. Yeah. Not a big surprise that if you come here at level 9, it's kind of not working out. So where's that spider link? Good. Got a nice little dagger. Not that we need one, but still. You can double check these boots. Mm 
Mm, yeah, probably the ring is not worth it. So let's double check the boots. I mean, overall, pretty much even, but these boots here have more AC, so might as well take them. Good. A new pair of boots. A little bit more updated uh, version. We're now at sometimes level 12 items. Still I think we can we can definitely require a little bit higher items. Like level 14 items now would be just superb. But we need to wait until the trader uh, traders have that. Overkip besides all I Mohar was in with all the map. Good. So that's her gone. And this here is now the other side of the room. This is, I think this is where we find uh, the evidence that he's trying to double cross us. But not before we are going to steal every single last bit of glass that this guy owns. So up here, I think in in this um, in this uh, cupboard we'll find the assassination contract. There you go. Eliminate any god woken, including Lucian Spawn, and that's exactly why he's uh, not to be trusted. We can. We could from now on just like confront him with it. But of course we're going to play it cool. So here's the essence of uh, existence part three. Which means we're only requiring part one now. And that is going to be downstairs. So that was Riker's room. three times at the sight of you. It reaches its arm out. Clasped in its hand is a crumpled parchment. I've spotted something. So there's uh, the cellar. Riker is basically uh, telling us uh, you can find me in the basement. But before we're going to find him in the basement, we're going to find the Essence of Existence Volume 1, which we're going to read. So in order to steal everything from this room, let's distract these guys. The creature barely notices your presence. Thank you. 
This here, by the way, is the door towards Riker's room. Well, it's the normal way how you're supposed to enter it. But we were just, yeah, bursting in the door and ignoring that. So from here, you could normally get into it. That's the third book that we're going to read for our Philosopher's Quest soon. And he really has a couple of nice books, so... Might as well look through all of them. Good. This is it. We're almost there. Next step is us going into the lower sections. Only need to make sure that we're not fighting him for now. Basically, we can even sneak by him. He's not going to do anything to us. There are a couple of things down here which we uh, which we definitely want to take care of. First and foremost, um, oh yeah, we needed to open that. I know where the opener is. Um, so there are a couple of things. Um, for instance, one more pyramid that we're going to use. Nice little amulet which we might uh, be able to use. Interesting. I'll give it that. A little bit of gimmicks here. The air buzzes and soars. And this is basically Riker's home turf. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of killed creatures. Lots of parts of a creature, which is great if you have an elf, so... And they will all tell similar stories. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be that no, none of uh, the guards, including Riker himself, will even look at you whilst you're like sniffing through all of this. But basically, you can steal all of that, and I'm I'm usually taking all of the um, body parts, so we can get, maybe get some skills for free or some quests from it. The skills, as far as I'm uh, concerned, I think are going to be fully random. And if you, by the way, press shift, you always see how far Riker can see. So all of this here, he's not even able to see. So we got all of these, um, these body parts. And what we're doing is we're just like numbing, numbing them away for now. Your loyal dog. Ugh. Ugh. You lie back. The pilgrimage. You failed. There we go, fire whip. Ugh. 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 Good. 
I'll skip uh, stop the video here and we're going to go for the next one because there's uh, still a second part of Riker's estate. See you in the next video.